Hi! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your last turning point of the month. For the month of January, this is your last terrific Tuesday of the month. Your last Tuesday turning point of the month. It's January 31st, 2022. And I'm already going to be forewarning you, I don't have, I misplaced my book, the new turning point book that I got the other day. So I don't know what tomorrow's, the preview tomorrow's is going to be about. So I'm hopefully tomorrow, sometime after midnight tonight, that the, the online version, the, the devotion will be be up there for tomorrow and I'll be able to record tonight but you won't have a preview of tomorrow's I don't know so you just have to deal when I did you just have to deal with the two knowing what's coming up for the for the daily Devo part one and two so I'll 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 reiterate at the end about that I just misplaced my book and I went to try to find it for recording today's videos and I just don't know where I laid it lay the envelope at I found the envelopes but they're wrong envelopes I found one from the December one and I found one that's I guess it was from this month but I cannot find the new envelope. I hadn't even opened it yet so it's unopened, so when I find it, I know which one it is. So, but until I find that book, I'll probably be having to do the online version. I'll have to bring my other computer out, turn it on, pull the website up so I can see it. I, I did that one time. I did that back in November with the other computer. I would pull it because I hadn't got the November book in the mail yet. I missed about four or five days of that doing videos until I realized it was online and I started doing it. And by the time I got to the end of the month, not knowing with with those, you don't know what tomorrow tomorrow's is going to say when I'm online. You don't know what the next day is going to be. So you just have to go go with it until you get your book. Now, maybe what I have to do for a few, few days until I actually find the book. And working with the with the weekend one, I would know what the weekend one is on Saturday because it's a Saturday-Sunday video. So, or it's a Saturday-Sunday devotion. So, I can have it on Saturday and I can go ahead and do Saturday and Sundays together if I wanted to. So, but to be able to do the rest of the rest of the other other days together, I'm not gonna be able to till I find that book. So I was gonna I was gonna do tomorrow's episodes together in the same sitting, but is what it is. I don't have the book to be able to do tomorrow. I can do the other two, but I can't do the turning point, which. The way I'm feeling right now, I'm not doing it. So, whoa, sorry. <laughs> but today we're going to be talking about fear number two. Sorry about the light. She feels truck going by. Hmm. But fear number two, and have no fear. Like yesterday, we talked about fear number one. Fear is a liar. But today, we're having no fear in, in number two. Our beginning passage is verse one from Psalm 27, which will be reading the whole psalm in the, in the entire Psalm 27. Turning point is from John Newton and our Bible. Our daily Bible reading is Leviticus 11, 12, and 13. So. 
So if you're excited about this one, smash the like button. Liking the video will help the video out and channel. And uh, remember the like challenge. Refer back to the morning episode for or the morning video for explanation, which is a pretty easy one. So if you do it, I would appreciate it. Um, how was your last day of January? And what do you look forward to in the month of February? I said I was going to do something in this one, but I forget what I, in the morning one, I said I was going to do something in the turning point, but I don't rem, I, I, that was just a 20, 30 minutes ago when I said that, and I can't remember what I said, so, but let me know in the comments, how was your last day of January, and what you look forward to in the month of Jan of February, besides Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends. Help me reach the 100 subscriber mark for my birthday, April the 18th. And if you do, I will greatly appreciate you more than you will ever imagine or can imagine. I'm really wanting this channel to to start growing big time. Start growing. If I get to the hundred mark, it'll start it'll start balancing out, and I'll have more people to, to talk to. Like the last few that just subscribed on Friday, I had four subscribers on Friday from my Friday turning point video. After that was over with. Within 24 hours, I couldn't do my Saturday videos. And my Sunday, what well, I already knew about the four, but I, I really had a lot of views and likes and comments all weekend because of Friday's video. It was, it was like, whoa. But have no fear. Your terrific Tuesday, January 31st, episode 460. I forgot to say that. Sorry. Psalm 27, verse 1, which says we have to go ahead and read the whole psalm. Let me go ahead and get to that one. So the Lord is the light of the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And that's what mine, the book, my book says. So when the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, 14 verses, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in the tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. 
Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my tabernacle, of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed. I would have that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the loving of the living. Wait on the Lord. Listen at this. It should be a good one to memorize. Verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, wait on the Lord. So, so when we walk into a new situation in life, there is often fear in our heart. Whether it is the first day of school in a new town or the first day at a new job, venturing into the unknown can make us feel anxious and fearful. It is only when we begin to build relationships and adjust to our surroundings that the fear subsides. <clears throat> the unfamiliar becomes familiar. And I'll be right back. I got to get some moisture in my throat starting to crackle. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Quick flash. So investing in our relationship with the Lord has the same effect. When we spend time with our Heavenly Father, the fears in your life of our life subside. When we study His Word, we see how He, he protected His children from their enemies. Sorry. You go truck, I don't even know what it is. Hmm. I got a garbage truck or something on a Tuesday. <laughs> Whatever. When we study his word, we see how he protected his children from their enemies and worked miracles on our behalf. We will become confident in his unchanging love and care for us. Our God is all powerful. He is with us no matter where we are or what we are experiencing. He alone makes the unfamiliar familiar and changes our fear into peace. Amen? So allow these truths to settle into your heart and mind so that when fear comes, you can be confident knowing who your God is. Amen? And in our today's turning point, John Newton says, If the Lord be with us, we have no cause of fear. That's right. So that's all I have for today. Like I said, I won't be able to preview tomorrow's, the first turning point of February, because I don't have the book with me right, right now. But hopefully by the time I, we get ready to do the video, I'll have it. If not, I'll have to pull it up I have to pull my old computer up, get it on the thing so I can pull the. Hopefully, I'll have it by the time I get to the next recording session for tonight. But part one and part two of of my daddy devos, we could preview those. So coming up tomorrow at seven a.m. for your first. Glorious Hump Day Wednesday of February, February 1st, 2023. We're going to be talking about the next installment of the Dove Series 139 and the Indwelling Christ, beginning with Galatians 124 from Henry M. Morris. And tomorrow, hopefully after one, part two of episode 977. We're going to be talking about blessings in the tears from Wynn Collier, derived from Matthew 5, 1 through 12. And of course, we're probably going to 
continue on with Leviticus, either the next two chapters, 14 and 15, or 14 through 16. Or it may be a different... Somewhere in the next few chapters of Leviticus tomorrow in the turning point. Ooh, a rough sound on a motorcycle. Oh, boy. But stay tuned for those. I'll get those later tonight. Hopefully, I'll have the book by tonight. If not, I'll have to have the um, website pulled up on the old computer and have it sitting there and I can read off the... And with that, I won't be able to have the the next day's preview. I'll have to wait for the... And if I do have to do it that way, hopefully after midnight, it'll be posted. So, but, but until then, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe. And all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for the first glorious hump day Wednesday of February. First day of February, February 1st, 2023. And see what God has. His, we ho I hope you see what God has in store for us tomorrow. I hope you had a, a, a blessed, joyous month of January, the first month of the 2023. Hope everything has gone well this month. And everything is going well so far in your, what do they call that? Your rejudgment for the new year. Like you say, you say you're going to do something at the beginning of the year. At New Year's, you're going to try to be do something better this year. I hope that, I hope that is going on very good and everything. And that it will continue on doing good and but un until tomorrow me and baby yoda we out for tonight so have a great rest of your night the the, the, the rest of your january and we'll see you back here tomorrow in the month of february so until then goodbye <laughs>